In this lesson, we are using DaVinci Resolve, and I'm going to show you how to get a text element to track a moving object. And this is how it will look. Let's do it. Okay, so let's get started. I have a video clip. Let's drag it down. It's a video clip of a Hobie cat coming across the scene, a beach scene. The first thing you need to do is find the starting point and the ending point of where you want to track. So let's look for that. Okay, I want to track this object and put a text here. So it'll come here, 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 and it'll end there. So let me use the blade tool and cut it right here and go back to the beginning part where I want to start this. Let me start it at this point here. So take the blade and cut. Since I don't really need this portion here, I'm going to delete that and delete. Next, let's add a text. Let's drag this under the titles text over here. Let's change the text to open sans extra bold. Change the text to what you want. I'll call this Hobie. Then click over here and you can drag it to the starting point. Make sure that the playhead is right at the beginning of that section where we want to start this tracking. And if you want to make small changes, you just change the position here. Let's go a little higher and to the left. Okay, that looks good. And we want to match the length of the text to the length of the video clip. So let's grab the right side here and drag it to the end. Okay, so now they match. If you like the size, keep it. Or you can just adjust it by dragging this left or right. Now we have to right click the text element over here. First left click it to make sure it's selected. Then right click new compound clip. Create. Now we turn that text into a compound element. We can now go to the color tab or the color page. Click on clips over here so you can see the clips. Then highlight the video clip we want to create the tracking. So let's click this. So here it is, the video clip right under the text. It's highlighted. And now make sure this is at stabilizer over here. And click the three dots over here. Click on Classic Stabilizer. Change this to Point Tracker. And over here, click this icon to add a tracker point. Now you see a red cross mark over here. Now look for a distinctive point in the moving object to place this crosshair or this cross. It's best to choose something that's pretty distinctive. If you just dropped it here, there's really nothing it can follow in this region. It's just a whole bunch of yellow. But over here, there's distinctive marks that helps DaVinci Resolve track that. Makes it easier to track. Uh, make sure you have pan and tilt check marked here. You don't really need zoom and rotate. Okay, now to set the tracking path, click this play button here for track forward. So that tracked pretty well. And let's look at the tracking pointer here. Play it here. There it is. It's really doing a good job following that mark. Sometimes you'll find that the tracker loses its hold on the proper path. You can just pause it and just readjust, reposition the tracker. Next, let's select our text, which is a compound clip over here. Make sure it's on stabilizer. And over here, the three dots. Click on classic stabilizer. So this is ready, but we have to copy the path. We have to give a path to this clip. Let's go back to the video clip that has the path. Over here, three dots, copy track data. And now select your text compound clip, three dots, paste track data. Now the text has the same path as that earlier video clip. Make sure the zoom is off, uncheck that, and Strong has to be negative 100. It's kind of hard to explain why that is, but just keep it at negative 100. Then click Stabilize. Okay, now let's play it. The text is now following that path. 
Let's look at it in full screen. Let's click back here at the beginning of that clip and control F for full screen and play. Okay, so that's how you track an object with text. By the way, to make it easier for you, I'm going to link the video clip I used in this lesson so that you can go through the exact same steps we went through. So check the description section below. If you learned something new, please give the video a like and comment to let me know if it worked for you or not, or if you have other questions. I also have a lot more tutorials on DaVinci Resolve and other online business tips. So subscribe if you're interested to learn more. Thank you.